Hi everyone, today we're continuing with our review with PEATS for step 2 and step 3. The topic that we're talking today is abdominal wall defects. First, we're going to start with umbilical hernia. In this case, we have to remember number 4. You will see why. If the hernia is less than 4 centimeters with no symptoms, this is fine. You don't have to worry, just keep the clinical follow-up, but that's it, no surgery. Okay, less of 4 centimeters, no symptoms, it's fine. But if you have symptoms, even being less than 4 centimeters, you have to go to surgery. Okay, the important thing is 4 centimeters, no symptoms. That means no surgery. Okay, next again, number 4. Usually, hernia has to involve by the four years old. If you have the hernia, it's small, and by the age of four, it has to be has to disappear. That's fine again. But what happens if the kid is more than four years old and he still has the hernia? So in this case, he has to go to surgery. Why? Because there is a risk of increasing in the size. Okay, so again, umbilical hernia, less than 4 centimeters, no symptoms, no surgery. Less than 4 centimeters with symptoms, goes to surgery. And all hernias they have to disappear by the age of 4, but if they remain more than 4 years old, he has to go to surgery because of the risk of increasing the size. Okay, that's it. Next topic, omphalocele. This word comes from the Greeks. Uh, this, especially here on Phallos, uh, was the name of a temple from Apollo because they thought that this was the center of Earth. So that's why the, our navel, our umbilicus, is our center of our body. That's why we have this origin. And the word cilia means like a hernia with a sac. So, so in this diagram, if this is like your navel, you will have going through the umbilicals, the intestinal content, but Yes, we'll have a sac. Uh, also, in this case, in the phallocele, it's good to perform further studies because there is a risk of being related with any genetic syndrome like trisomy 18. So, in this case, you will need further studies. Okay, so remember, on follows, it's the middle of our body, it's the umbilical, the navel covering with a sac. So it's the content, it's intestinal content covered with a sac going through the umbilicals. And you need further studies because it could be related with genetic syndrome. Okay, and the last one is gastroschisis. Again, this word comes from the Greek from gastroschisis, which means division. In this case, it's a fissure, it's a division in the abdominal wall, but it will be in the side. You see, gastroschisis will be in the side of the umbilicals. So, what does it mean? That it's not covered by a sac. No sac. So what does it mean? That content will be exposed to abdominal fluid. And we have an increased risk. Will increase for adhesions, attrition and structures. And also the problem here is that since this intestinal content is in exposed to abdominal fluid, we have to resect some portion. So the problem is that the short bowel syndrome that we will have at the end. So it depends on the portion of the intestine that has to be removed. Okay? So again, gastroschisis is in the side, it's not in the center like in phallocele, it doesn't have a sac, so that's why the content is exposed to abdominal fluid, which increases the risk for adhesion, attrition, and structures. And in both cases, if the lesion is small, they can go to surgery. It's okay. They can go to surgery and repair the, the lesion. But if it's large, if it's really large and the abdominal content outside the body is really large, you have to create a silo. What does it mean? Like, if this is the content and this is the body, you have to cover this and gradually put inside the abdominal because what happened, if you have a, a huge, huge, like in this case I make it really huge, but if you have this huge content outside 
and you put it inside, you have increased risk of death. Why? Because of respiratory failure. Because imagine the abdominal space is much, much smaller than the, the content. So if you try to put everything inside, you will increase the risk of death because of respiratory failure. Okay? So as you can see, this is a really high gel topic, abdominal wall defects, abdominal hernia, and follow silly and gastroschisis. I hope that you liked the video, and more videos are coming soon, so keep tuned. Goodbye.